Hello and welcome everyone. In this video we are going to talk about Eternal Ajak. After watching this video you will know everything about this character which will give you an idea what we can expect from this character and what Ajak can or cannot do. So before we get started don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will never miss an upcoming update. With that out of the way let's get started with the video. Ajax first appeared in Eternals issue 2 in 1976 and was created by the legendary Jack Kirby. Ajax possesses all the powers of an average Eternal. I had already made a video in which I had tell you all powers possessed by Eternal. Link to that video will be in upper right corner. Ajax possesses all the powers of an average Eternal near mortality, cosmic energy projection, flight, teleportation, telepathy, telekinesis, transmutation of organic and inorganic matter, conjuring, illusions, a regenerative healing factor, superhuman strength, durability, speed, stamina, reflexes, and agility. Ajak can focus their cosmic energy into superhuman strength where Ajak is able to lift roughly up to 25 tons which exceeds the average of 15 tons for most Eternals as one would imagine being named after the great Greek hero Ajak. Ajak is a highly skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant and extremely skilled in the art of Greco-Roman wrestling. Ajak once assumed the identity of an Incan god Tekumatsun as well as the Aztec god Quetzalcoatl they've also gone by other names and titles over the centuries chief among them. Ajak is the one Eternal with the most responsibility. Ajak is tasked with maintaining the history of the Eternals and the planet Earth as well as being the speaker to Celestials among Eternals namely being the prophet of the Dreaming Celestial. Therefore Ajax is the one being the Celestials communicate with and spread their message and directives through. Ajak is a bit of a stubborn individual often thinking they have all the answers. Many times their bullheaded nature has led to people being killed. Ajak caused the death of Snowbird during the secret invasion all because of his ego and belief he was a better leader of the God Squad than Hercules. He was not and he even won up murdering innocent children in his quest to hunt down fellow Eternal Athena and Deviant Crow's children. Something that led to him committing suicide over his, the feeling of guilt towards these actions. Eternals don't always get along with one another as was evidenced in Charles and Daniel Nuff's Eternals run, where during this time there were still some Eternals who had yet to regain their memories. Thanks to Sprite's treachery, where they had manipulated events to cause a memory wipe of all Eternals on Earth we'll get into that later, when we talk more about Sprite. During this time there were still some Eternals who had yet to regain their memories and were still living as normal humans. Ajax, and the others worked to restore their amnesiac. During a time of war for the Eternals where Icarus and Druig had taken on different sides and were trying to bolster their respective ranks to stop the other, during this strange time, the Celestials had decided they no longer wished to speak with Ajak, but instead chose the Eternal Makari as their new liaison and prophet. This led to Ajak acting incredibly petty and instead of helping Icarus bring back more Eternals who would fight for his side. Ajak helped Druig instead to ensure Makari's death despite not believing in Druig's cause Ajak would then orchestrate events so that the eternal Gilgamesh would kill Makari but later blame the murder on Druig when confronted by Cersei. Ajak casting initially one created by Jack Kirby in 1976 Ajak was a presumably white male character but as we've learned Eternals can become whatever gender or race they choose when reborn through the machine because of this we learned in Eternal Celestial Issue 1. That Ajak was revealed to actually have been female when first created 1 million years ago, and at some point after they first encountered the Avengers of 1 million BC was killed. Ajak was reborn as a male character after this and when he was killed slash committed suicide, and Jason Aaron's Avengers issue 4 in 2018 was reborn as a female character. Yet again this is also interesting because in this reveal we also learn that the character Ajak was originally not just a woman but also a Latina character just as actress Salma Hayek is in real life. Another interesting sidebar about Ajak in the MCU is that Ajak is revealed to apparently be more of the healer of the group also not being quite as bulleted as Ajak was in the comics. But acting more as a Quaddy Fingers Mother Hen style character up until now Ajak has never appeared in any media outside of comics. Other than the hybrid comic animation series Marvel Knights Eternals where they are voiced by Kirby Morrow. According to Moore, she's a healer and spiritual advisor who also has a direct line of communication to the Celestials. She is the oracle, she is the one they go to for advice and for guidance. She's a leader in a world where we don't get to see too many female leaders, which makes her quite a distinctive figure in the MCU. Moore sounds delighted with Hayek's performance, insisting she made Ajak more than what she was on the page. We will get to know more about Ajak in the upcoming Eternals movie, and with that, we will bring this video to an end. 
let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.